Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can have a list of all the flows in your environment along with the details who created it, when it was created, whether flow is enabled or disabled. So sort of audit log report we are going to fetch from our this uh, flow environment. And uh, this audit report can be useful for your senior leadership to decide the usability of flows or how much the flow is being used in your entire organization. So, and even uh, as you are a power platform administrator, then you may want to take some actions like for some inactive flows that those are inactive for past few years, you may want to remove them or just uh, would like to inform the owners that these are not being used, whether they can remove it or not. So that like to better manage your entire environment that audit report is a must to have if you are a power platform administration then you would at any point in time you would want to have that list handy with yourself so that you can decide to manage your environment well so with few steps we are going to get that report so i am going to use the powershell administration and i'll install the power apps uh, modules so that we can work with the power platform commands over there so if i am just opening one of the um, a doc from microsoft that specifies this cat admin flow so this is a part of command which comes under microsoft power apps administration shell so this is going to give you like set of handy commands which would be useful for you so uh, we are going to focus on this get admin flow so that we can have that simple all the flows report ready with us. So we'll just follow like, these three, four steps. First step would be installing the Power Apps administration for your PowerShell. So I'll just open up my window PowerShell and I'll start with this installing module so that we can work with Power, Power Apps administration. So you can just copy this command so I'll just paste up all these steps in my video description so that you can directly pick that up and you can install the module so once the module is installed you'll get to the next line where you you are able to run this get admin flow command so I'll just run this up and so when you run this command get admin flow it will ask you to pick one account that should be a power platform admin account to connect so that you can get the all your flows so it's running so it will actually fetch up all the flows and assign that to variable so it's a dollar all flows will be variable now we are exporting this variable into one export uh, file which can have all the columns related to those flows so I'll just export that so now all flows will be exported to export with the export module and the path is all flow CSV. So I'll just enter that. So it must have created one file at my this location. So I can just simply go. So right now you have seen that I have not explicitly selected any columns. I just exported everything which I got from this get admin flow. So I'll just go to my location and look for this file. I'm just opening that. So now you can see we got this data exported so I got around 181 flows in my environment and the second column is enabled that means like whether my flow is enabled or not so first column is flow name that is generally a GUID for that flow so if you are working with the administration further for enabling disabling or uh, removing this flow so this flow name you would require and this is a display name of flow so that you can quickly see like what actual flow are these user type so which the, the flow is running by which account so it could be service account as well and created time when the flow was created so it could be crucial like uh, you can just pick like the flows which are created uh, before more than two years then you should pick th those up and then delete and the further column is created by so this created by does have tenant id and the object id so this object id you may want to if you are specifically interested in finding the uh, user who the user specifically who created this object then you can just pick this up field so this object id and user id i can just simply if i am an administrator of aad as well then i can simply go to my 
this Azure Active Directory and I'll just go to users to find out that, that specific user if I just enter I'll just get a corresponding user against that user ID so if you wish to do that into same PowerShell uh, you should you wanted to have that uh, username along with all those then you you may like add up fewer few more commands you may add up for each where you can pick the user IDs all the user IDs which you got from admin flow and then get that from the Azure Active AD module you can get the display name of those users so that would be much more uh, friendly to you so if I just go back to my Excel and see like I got this environment and there are there are specific uh, selections we also get from so that if I wish to get the flows from a specific environment then I can just filter that by with a specific environment name and if I specifically want to do have that uh, flows created by some specific person then I can have those filters as well in place so these are detailed documentation what get admin flow can give us and what filtering we can apply you can have a look I'll just paste that uh, link into the description as well so that's pretty much like whatever you got this entire for your power platform flow administration this is enough you can just see look at your flows flow name and whether these are disabled or not so you can simply get that report and share with your senior leadership for further analysis so I think like uh, it was a quick video and that's it for today and if you have any further questions on then then please do reach me out, drop your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.